In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this cool cover image for your Instagram carousels. First thing I've done is I went to Envato Elements and I love playing around with these 3D images. So I selected 3D and typed in television. And you can see I'll get all these cool images. You get some vintage ones, some modern flat screens. And I really love this one up here with the vintage television. And I just kind of liked the boxy feel. It's got a really nice um, sort of layout and form. Then what I did is I click the view 360 render and I can actually drag this image around like this. So I like to sort of get a, a nice angle where it's not just front on, but it's sort of like this. So I'm just clicking and dragging. Once I'm happy with that, I'll click download. And then what I'm gonna do is go to Photoshop and I'm basically gonna drop that image inside of here. So the original image that I had, it was for a guest post someone's making for me. So you can see the uh, uh, original cover was looking like this. So very bland, no 3D images, no illustrations, just like text. And it's pretty boring, right? So that's why I decided to make an image that incorporates a television and add sort of this text in the middle there and also change the color. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So first things first, what I wanna do is make an adjustment layer. I'm gonna go to my right top section and click on hue saturation. Now I'm gonna drag this out. And what you want to do is you wanna click the second drop down and click reds. And the reason why is because this color in the back is sort of like a mahogany burgundy type of color, which is basically like a red. So I'm gonna click back on my hue saturation. And once I've selected the reds there, I'm gonna select the little eyedropper and select the background of the color of the TV. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the saturation up and also drag the slider a little bit. So if I drag it, you can see it's gonna change heaps of different colors or I can drag it all the way. So depending on what you, what you want, you can play around with it. So for me, I'm gonna sort of go towards the orangey red color and bump up the saturation a little bit. Just like that, I think that's really cool. I can also add some levels so I can press Control L and sort of you know, bump up the mids there. First, I want you to select the right layer and then do it, Control L. And then I can bump the contrast or bring that in to lighten up the TV there. So I'm grabbing the highlights, which is this top marker and bringing that in just to brighten it up a little bit. Beautiful, I'm loving how that's looking. So now what I can do is I can drop it into Illustrator or just stay in Photoshop and actually press T for the type tool and drop some text in there. So I'll press T, I'll click and then I'll change to the uniform font, which is my main font that I use for text. I'm just gonna change text here of a triple thumbnail. Just tighten it a little bit. I'm gonna press enter. I just need to change the, then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna change the color to white and then I need to go to my libraries and quickly add. So I'll just drop the YouTube logo in here like that. I'm gonna bring it above the hue saturation layer so it doesn't go like a weird color you can see there. We, don't, we just want it to be red there. Beautiful. Now with the text, what I can actually do is go to edit on the left hand side and what we can do is actually perspective warp. It's gonna ask you to rasterize, which is totally fine. And then what we can actually do is start to warp this. So I'm gonna left click and I can move this box around. So I can sort of move it to the edges of the, the screen, right? Of that television, which is good. And then you can press enter. And then what we want to do is you wanna to start to add some pins. So we can start to see as we've already we can start to edit some of this just like that so we can warp it to make it sort of fit the screen a little bit better all right which is cool we can also go and actually add another warp so i'm gonna go back uh so we want to go to transform and we want to click warp here which is also cool and now you can see i'm going to sort of make it look like it's bulging a little bit so we can do that. So, and this allows me to bend these handles here. 
which give it a little bit of a shape there, which is kind of cool. Nice. And because it's rasterized, I can't really edit it anymore, but whatever. I think it's looking fine. There's a bit too much space here, the letting, but you know, that's, I can always go back and fix that later. Anyway, so I think that's cool. I can also go, go to filter, also maybe add a bit of uh, texture. So if I want to go to, let's go to noise and add a bit of noise. You can see we can add a bit of grain because it is vintage. So I'm going to zoom in. Now you can see it's a bit grainy there, which is beautiful. I'm going to press Control, Alt, Shift, X, and then I'm going to download that into my downloads folder. And now we can see, I can drop it and drag it into Illustrator. And now you can see we've got this and I can use it as a cover design or anything else I can scale it up. So basically that's how you create something really cool in Photoshop. You can use it as a 3D cover image or uh, just to make it pop, make it stand out. And you know, it takes you less than 10 minutes just to play around and make it look really cool. I can even, you know, add a solid color and do it all in here. Let's bring this down. Let's play around with that. And I'm just gonna add a clipping mask real quick. Then we can make it like that. Beautiful. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more like this. I really appreciate it and it helps me understand what you guys wanna see. Thanks so much, smash the like button and hit subscribe for more content every week. I'll catch you in the next one.